Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how I use some of the Krotos plugins in a sound design workflow. In particular, Krotos Studio, Weaponizer, Reformer Pro, and Simple Monsters. Let's take a look. Here we've got a short action sequence. The first thing is to add the ambience. So I've used Krotos Studio for this. Now this is really easy. I've gone into the ambiences section. I've chosen a preset called Basement, started it. And the good thing about this is you can perform the sound in real time in the sense that you can vary between all of these attributes. So generator, air, you got on the other side washing machine or water pipes. I went through and performed that and then just dragged the finished audio to a track, which is exactly what we've got here. Sounds like this. That's our background ambience. Next, I added the important weapon sounds. And of course, I've used Weaponizer for that. So there are a few different gunshots in this, and I've used a combination of the M4 automatic preset on one of them and the M16 on the other. Let's take a listen to the guns. Okay, sounds pretty good. And on top of that, we've also got some gun foley sounds. So these are the handling sounds of the weapons. With this, I've used Reformer Pro, and in particular, I've used the gun foley preset. Now, the way that Reformer Pro works is you record some audio which acts as the trigger sound, or you could use MIDI. That then activates one of the chosen presets. So I could have up to four sounds loaded, but I've actually just moved this over so it's purely going to play the gun foley. Now, if I show you the trigger sound on its own, it's literally me just making stupid vocalizations. But... With the plugin, it sounds totally different to that. So you've got gun sounds like that. And it just acts as a nice little additional layer. Also, I have another instance of Reformer Pro on another track, and this is the cloth foley. So all the movement sounds and the fabric of their clothing. With this one, once again, I've chosen a single preset, but the jacket foley preset. In this case, I chose literally just to count like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it sounds ridiculous. But of course, with Reform Pro, it sounds nothing like that whatsoever. It's going to be jacket foley sounds. So by counting, I was just using that as a, a means of activating the sound from Reformer Pro. We've got some footsteps. I've actually used Weaponizer for this, and I've chosen the Running Shoes on Concrete preset. This was triggered by MIDI. So in this case, I actually didn't have a MIDI keyboard to hand, so I opened up the little Pro Tools MIDI keyboard, played it, triggered it from the keyboard by just pressing the letter A, and then we got this. Okay, that's sounding good. And on top of that, adding yet another layer, we've also got the zombie sounds. Now these are just vocalizations I quickly recorded. So on their own, with no processing, they sound like this. Okay, that's my best impression of a zombie. But of course we know zombies don't just sound like that. Usually there's a little bit more to them. So in this case, I've used Simple Monsters. Now this does precisely what its name suggests. It lets you very easily create monster sounds just by recording some vocalizations yourself, choosing some presets or adjusting the settings in the plugin. And now it sounds like this. Now added to this, I've got a couple of other sounds which I've added in just pre-recorded sound effects of bullet casings landing on the floor, a couple of other bits. But together, here's the result. And that's a good result achieved very easily using four Krotos plugins, Krotos Studio, Weaponizer, Reformer Pro, and Simple Monsters. For more information, head over to krotosaudio.com. Thanks for watching.